Hi, my name is Fred Reed. I'm from CNY Live. We're here at the listening room of 443 once again. This time we're talking to Big Sexy and the Scrambled Eggs. We're not having breakfast, but we're talking about their music and their shows. So hold on a minute. We'll be right back. Hey, we're back. We're here with uh, Big Sexy and the Scrambled Eggs. It's not breakfast time, like I said. However, let's introduce the band. Who are you and what do you do? My name is Big Sexy. Uh, I sing and I play keyboard in the band. Is that what your mother named you? <laughs> no, no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. I'm AJ. I play guitar in the band. I'm Joe. I'm the drums. Uh, Joe Salazar. I play drum. I'm Corey Fleming and I play guitar. Okay. And we are missing one other person. Missing bassist. The bassist. Yeah. He's definitely ill. He's yeah, super ill. <laughs> the puke in his guts out. <laughs> Let's hope he gets better. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad he's not here. Um, so, tell me a little bit of background about um, Big Sexy and the Scrambled Eggs. Like, where the hell did you come up with the name? Uh, I mean, obviously you're not a McDonald's That was their old buddy Joe, yeah. actually. We were going to do a, an open mic, and we weren't there yet, and he was worried about all the spots filling up, so he just kind of penned in the name for us. <laughs> yeah, literally stuck after that. <laughs> Lori Station, she just write some fan down, maybe you could change it. <laughs> so uh, let's talk about like what kind of music, like if you had to really put a genre on it, what would you say your music is like, or what are your shows like? Just funk, rock. We try to like, we like have this whole like saying, it's called Don't Assume My Genre. And so we don't ever stick to one particular sound and like whatever song we make pushes whatever genre we think it needs to go into. So we our, our music kind of goes all over the place and we have something for somebody you know what i mean we don't have like all one sound and, and our shows are awesome our shows are filled with like people that just like want to have a great time and like just fun loving energy and that's what we love playing music so they're up they're up and dancing and stuff and i just sitting oh, there oh yeah we got yeah. hoopers and you know, really okay oh, yeah. um you guys have been together for how many years three years total three years total. that's right and uh when when you guys do have a show, I mean, I kind of I kind of heard a couple of recordings right up front and everything, and like you said, it's kind of psychedelic, but it's got some funk and blues in it. Where do you think you guys really start from? Like, do you, do you have any music that you were like, hey, that's why I wanted to play music, or what got you guys started and what you're doing? Uh, I feel like everybody's probably got a different story. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> like I didn't start playing music till like two years ago. And like I've always listened to music and stuff, but I'm very like three years ago rather. But uh, so like I never really even the music thing in my brain never even clicked till about three years ago, and I even knew that this was even possible to do. But like everybody else has been playing music their entire life, so it's like a whole like I'm sure they can pinpoint their specific influences and stuff like that. But mine's just such a mixing bowl of whatever I'm putting in my ears, really. Okay, what kind of what kind of uh, you know? I grew up listening to like whatever my dad had on the radio, which was usually <laughs> Metallica, and like, it was a lot of like grunge, because it was like 95 backs back in the day, when that's all they played, it was like, you know, same 10 songs, like Soundgarden, Alice in Chains and stuff, and all okay. that, but I, I really, I really uh, stick on to like the whole, like blues, when I was growing up, and like learning how to play guitar, that's like what I really stuck on to at first, uh, my first guitar teacher ever, he wanted me to learn jazz, and I was like, I was like nine years old, so I was like, I don't know what jazz is. So, I kind of, I kind of found the blues and like found it was a lot easier to play. So, I just kind of stuck with that, and that's like where my guitar playing pretty much comes from. Okay, what about? Oh, wide variety. Um, I listen to anything and everything. I started out listening to like Alice in Chains and Suicidal Tendencies and stuff like that, thrash and grunge. Type, but I try and immerse myself in as much music as I can, different styles and whatnot. Um, yeah, just so I get that experience, you know, to, to listen to. Okay. Strictly 80s Joel. I listen to everything, but I just like to play, honestly. So it was mostly like a folk background, I think. Uh, a lot of video up. games. A lot of video <laughs> games. Video <laughs> games. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. At least you guys haven't laid out the Nickelback soundtrack. So you're okay. Yeah, everybody I'm, shits on them, but their song comes yeah. on the radio. You fucking sing yeah, it. Yeah, everybody sings <laughs> it. It's like, you know, Tom Petty, you can't help but sing it. You're there to laugh. So really, but 
but you're, you know, I mean, the few, couple songs that I heard before putting this together today, um, they don't really sound like that background. It really sounds like a, an older music style. Not, like you said, don't put a genre on it, but it really sounds like you guys really got, uh, you guys have a sound of your own going. And that's, that's, that's really cool because, you know, you never really change music unless somebody comes up and does something different. Yeah. And that's good. I like that. So tell us, like, just get a little more in depth. So if somebody comes out and see you guys playing live, what happens? You know, the last man I talked to, like, we're talking about blood and throwing bones breaking and stuff. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we're throwing hugs. <laughs> 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 we're a little happier, you know. <laughs> 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 just not throwing his heart out. No, I don't know. I mean, you know, you you probably have a really good following. You've been doing this for three years and stuff. And yeah, decent following. It's definitely the music scene is like very wishy-washy as far as like Syracuse is concerned because like everybody's working like shitty jobs and like not a lot of people have a lot of money to go out and see music and like I feel like our generation too is very like stuck behind the phone screen and not wanting to just get out on the street and just have fun with people and interact and stuff. So, but we have a pretty decent following. We're getting bigger and playing bigger shows and getting our name up there. You know? So, we talked earlier, you guys have a CD or EP, whatever you want to call it, coming out. Now, is this your first one? Yeah, it's yeah, the first, your first one. Um, what do you, tell me a little bit about it. What's the expected release date? Or you know? uh, It should be done by the end of the month. We're still waiting on some artwork for the album. Uh, the album will be called World Less Travel. Uh, and it's an album that's just like compiled of all the best songs that we've created over the past three years and just what we thought the people needed to hear and what like works for us. Do, do you, your whole night, are you playing just your music? Do you do any covers or is it really just all your stuff? We sprinkle in covers here and there, here and there. but we, we like to stick to like our own yeah. sound. That's 90% is probably just your stuff? Yeah, yeah I would say 90, 95. You know. the, the Road Less Traveled, isn't that one of the songs? Yeah, that is one of the songs. That's yeah. like the title, the yeah. title track? Alright. Um, you guys have some shows? Yep, yeah, we got a uh, May 9th is our first show that's booked so far. That's with Stephen Lewis, like the Big Funky Grass Dogs or something like that. Uh, we're playing Sterling Stage. Uh, we're playing Disc Jam. We've got a show June 1st with Roots of Creation at Lost Horizon, bugging out. Uh, and we'll continue to keep filling in. And we're probably going to do a couple private shows this summer too, just like exclusive events that are going to be kind of like upper echelon and like limited number of people and like a nice big house and stuff like that too. Like a video that our friend Parker designed and he like created this like talking head that is going to like sing the lyrics of our song and that's going to be for Road Less Traveled and we're coming out with a music video for What the Funk and Milk and Honey as well this summer. So that first one, is that, is that like a Max Headroom kind of thing from the 80s? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a really weird like Aztec almost had oh, yeah. like very like tribal and like probably like the mouth mutters and like <laughs> 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 it's definitely it's really they cool. had slow internet then dial up or something like that. And well, then we're also we're adding sound and lights to our show this year. We're hiring. We got our good buddy Paul. He's gonna come in and do like fog and lasers and try to just like amp up our show and give it a little bit more energy and just more body. When you guys release your CD, where can people get a hold of it? Where are you, where are you planning on putting all that? Everywhere. Yeah. Spotify, <laughs> Apple Music. Steal from your guitar. guitar. YouTube. Like crackhead down the street. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be everywhere. <laughs> Which means you can get it right down the street. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you are going to have, like right now, you, you have all your information on Facebook, but you are going to be launching your own website as well. Yeah, we'll Launch our own website. It's going to be bsse.band, and that's going to be the URL for it. And that'll be the main thing for all the fans and anybody that wants to keep up with what we're doing to get a hold of us. Because we'll be uploading that like daily with every content and keeping it posted. Yeah, that'll have like show dates on and stuff too. Yeah, so pretty, pretty much able to buy tickets through there, eventually merch and all that. Perfect. And your new CDs. Yeah, the new CD. Perfect. That's great. I really appreciate you guys coming out. Um, Thank you. Telling you guys, you guys, go out, catch live music, catch new bands doing their own stuff, even if it sounds like a breakfast sandwich. Cool. Don't make a judgment. Go out, see them, bring your hula hoops, whatever you want. Just at least wear clothes, and let's get out and see local bands. Yeah. Yeah. Or not. Or not. <laughs>